fact is we make a lot of decisions that could bring us to ruin because we act impulsively, compulsively, and ruthlessly. <laughs> Can you hear that? Complete silence. A squawking bird somewhere below, but a really weird silence on top of this mountain. You know who else used to sit up here and look down into the Jezreel Valley? Jezebel. Right here, right in this place. Used to overlook her kingdom. Didn't really work out that well for her, but that's another story. We have created a society where we allow nobody to ask us any serious questions. We want to live in a way where we're not accountable to anybody. We want to be free, a really bad interpretation of freedom, by the way. We want to be free from judgment. We want to do our own thing because we only want to answer to ourselves. And that's why it's important to start asking ourselves questions because nobody else will do that for you. Somewhere in the vastness of the internet, I saw this quote about how every decision we make can change our life forever. I thought that was pretty cool, but I started thinking about how today's society looks at motivational quotes like that. Everybody gets all pumped up about the best you and the best year and the best is yet to come. We rarely talk about how many negative decisions we make. We rarely speak of the many times that we mess up in life. The next decision you make may very well take you very far from being your best self and living your best life. I'm not saying that's gonna happen. I'm saying that we need to, we need to take into account the fact that, that we are error prone and that our decisions, the directions that we take, are not always the best. I meet a lot of people that find themselves in some cringeworthy situations in their life. And they all say the same thing. It was never any one thing, any one decision that got them there. Bad ideas bring around more bad ideas and then you end up stuck in a loop. You initially thought that you were going forward to reach something that you wanted and take risks that you can control and trouble and problems come and they snowball. Today everybody wants to talk about positivity and motivation and loving yourself. And those are great, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, I don't want to talk against that. I'm saying that we need to get our values straight before we even mention any of these things. Loving yourself and permitting yourself to do things that you shouldn't be doing are very different things. And that is something we really need to get straight in our head and in our heart. So many things in today's society are so poorly defined and so loosely identified that they force us to take risks that are really not worth taking. I don't know if I'm making any sense here. I'm not trying to say that you have to settle down for some kind of a cushy uh, life with no risk. I'm all about taking risks. You just gotta know which ones to take. You gotta choose your battles wisely. And that's where defining things in life really comes in handy. The sooner we realize that this society we've created for ourselves knows nothing about life, and leads us into the wrong direction so many times and is completely uh, error-prone and fallible, the faster we'll figure out that we cannot follow trends, the faster we'll figure out that we need to really dig deep to find the real meaning and the real, uh, the real definitions of concepts in life. And when we're able to define those things, we'll be able to make the right decision. I think we can make everything work if we could just focus on the right things in life, which we don't, which we don't let ourselves do, which we, we teach our kids not to do because we let them focus on all the other sparkly lights around them. We run into a really serious problem though because it's a lot easier for us 
to follow the whatever mainstream media tells us to do and to to uh, be hip with the world around us than to really dig deep and to ask serious questions. The truth is out there, folks, and it's not the one that X-Files showed you. The truth is there's a simplicity to life that we have swept under the rug and we have dumped a bunch of inconsistencies on top of to cover up. There's a very unpopular thought in the 21st century. Nobody wants to talk about it. I say this all the time, I may repeat myself, but it's because I really want to get this point across. There is no way that we can judge ourselves. Even though we want to, even though that is a society we've created, it doesn't work. It's never gonna lead to anything good. If I want to create something great in my life, if I want to leave any kind of legacy in this world, I can't do it by my own standards. I cannot do it by my own example, or by my own knowledge or wisdom. I wish you could see this behind me. This camera really doesn't do it justice. And I don't think the drone camera could see through the mist into the depths of the valley here. I see like, I don't know how many peaks back there, all the way to Mount Carmel. But I digress. Anybody who's ever lived in this world and gained deep insight into life, into understanding of the mystery of life can tell you that it is only through God that we can achieve anything in this life. And without God, bad decisions are very easy to make. 